<laughs> Welcome to our first ever movie review. Yes, movie review. Just so that we will I'll warn you, we're gonna end up saying a spo uh, we're gonna end up saying a spoiler to our what was it your new favorite movie? Yeah. Yeah. So we just we just got done seeing Godzilla King of the Monsters, but before we did our review, we had to watch NXT. Yeah. Well, to be honest, NXT nothing really happened. Just a recap of what happened on Saturday. So, all right, Godzilla. Yes. We'll let you all know when the spoiler happens, so for now we'll just say if we liked it or not. And then, right. what'd you think, Bubby? I actually thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, hence why she's holding one of the Godzilla <laughs> figures. I'm on you. Yeah. yeah, it's the NECA 2014 one. I'm still waiting for my Monster Arts King of the Monster, but technically he shows up in the beginning of the movie, this version. So, you're not wrong there. Yeah, look, because he opens his mouth. Yeah. Monsters, <laughs> great. The story-wise, good. So, uh, sound and stuff, great. All along, good Godzilla movie. Or yeah. a good action monster movie. I would say, I mean, I didn't... He watched more Godzilla movies than I had. I'm just starting to get into it. Well, technically, you started by watching... um the Heisei era one. That's the one from the 90s. And then you wa you started liking it when we watched Kong Skull Island. And then you're like, who's that? And I'm saying, that's Godzilla. And you're like, he's fighting him? Alright, well, well I'll, I'll go see King of the Monster. And then we started showing you the, um, the, uh, the trailer for it. And then you were like, you started saying, who's the three-headed one? And like, Ghidorah, I like dragons. I like the dragons with multiple heads. I want to see. Yeah. So, now, here comes the spoiler. Yes, the spoilers. We just told End you now. End it here if you have not seen it. Alright. Three, two, one. Here we go. No. What should we say? Um, I don't know how should we say this. Oh. Well, anyways, what was it? Let's talk about the people characters. Um, yeah. Maddie was the daughter. Yeah, and everyone knows her from Stranger Things. I have never seen the show. Neither have I. So. <laughs> but what do you think of her? Um, I thought she was an okay actor, actress. Yeah. yeah, mostly in the Godzilla movies, we don't care about the human characters, but. They were okay yeah. in this movie. Emma, the mom. She was. She was played by Vera. F f um, Farmiga? Fam yeah, Farmiga. We have no idea who she was in any of the movies, even though we checked IMBD and stuff. Don't recognize her. But what did you think of her character being the monarch scientist turned uh, eco terror? End up turning eco terrorist turned. Hero at the last minute of the end movie. Um, I would say she's an okay. Yeah. Then the dad, Kyle Chandler, or Mark, in this movie. I've seen him in a couple of movies. I know see, I've seen him in the Peter Jackson King Kong one. He was the um, actor. Bruce I've never Jackson. seen him. Yeah, we haven't seen that King that King Kong movie because that one's three hours long, and I got the uh, special edition one, which they give you extra hours. So we thought watching Endgame was torture in your bladder. That one's gonna be torture. Ugh. But what do you think of him? Um, I mean, I mean, they're all. I say all everybody. All the characters were. Yeah, but okay, this, really? but there was character. I don't know if it was character arc or whatever, but with it. But at first, the dad hates Godzilla and all the Titans because they lost a son in the 2014 uh, attack. The that part, so yeah. the mom and them end up getting a divorce. The mom gets more into the monsters, while the dad drifts off into nature, and starts filming wild animals and stuff, and the daughter goes. Both yep. ways, but it's, it looks like she sides with the mom, and it ends up having. They end up building 
the Orca, which is basically a monster communicator, or it replicates the Alpha's um, sounds. Basically, it's a monster caller. And the terrorists in the movie, the eco-terrorists, led by Charles Dance, or Jonah Allen, as he's called in the movie. And you haven't seen him, but I heard him. I watched a couple of Game of Thrones episodes. He was yeah. Tywin Lannister. And I recognized his voice, and he was Emperor Emir Von Emrys from the Witcher series, from the Witcher 3 game. And that was pretty cool, seeing that. And basically, he's like the Thanos, trying to wipe out half of the human population so that saving the, the, the Earth. Yeah. Because basically the, the, the Titans, as they're called, basically bring balance to the whole ecosystem. Basically, the, it's actually pretty cool concept that the monsters aren't really the villains. They're actually just trying to live their lives. And basically, we have to figure a way how to coexist, but the government is um, thinking, oh... They're all dangerous because they're giant monsters. Let's just kill them, uh, kill them off. And Monarch has been keeping Godzilla's secret, watching him. He's been mis uh, out and hasn't seen for five years. And I haven't read the what was it the Aftershock comic because he looks way yeah. different in this movie than he did in the last one. Hence why he got the figure. Yeah. Like we know that um, he got bigger than the Shin Godzilla. So he's like over. So the, he's bigger now. Yeah, he's probably like eight, like eight meters or so. His spines look more like um, the original Godzilla. Yeah. Because in the the comic, he ended up fighting another Mudo, one of those bug creatures. Yeah. His spine got all destroyed. His spines got destroyed, and basically all that radiation. It took him five years to heal up, so that's why his spines look all different. So basically, um, when we start the movie off, we see Maddie and her mom in a science lab, I mean, yeah. at the house, but they're living next to a temple, and then it's, uh, they find out that it's actually Mothra's temple. Yep. Which was a cool, it was a cool thing. Oh, cool. Yeah. And then we see Mothra in her caterpillar form. She just, uh, uh hatches from her egg. And that's where we see the um, the orca device played in. Yep. But they had to be careful and had to match the alpha frequency to keep the monster in control. So basically, it's almost like um, a way to communicate with them. And then the terrorists break in and they kidnap yep. Maddie and Emma and the, the device. So Monarch, led by what, Dr. Sarazawa and them, have to recruit the dad. Because it was the dad and mom who designed it, and the dad thought it was a stupid idea. Because, you know, we'd be playing God with the thing. And he has a big old hate thing for um, Godzilla because they um, he blames him for his son, son's death. Yep. Yeah. Then we end up finding out that the bad guys, they make their money by selling off mo the monster's DNA. Because basically, because it's like the new currency now. Whatever you get DNA, you can try to clone them, make them into uh, weapons and all that stuff. Yeah. Basically like all, any other yeah. animal. Obviously, yeah. Yeah. So his big plan is wake up King Ghidorah, who is actually another alpha predator. That, that was, it was like, King Ghidorah was huge. Of course he's huge. In all the movies, Ghidorah was always bigger, except for... <laughs> you thought he was cool because of the dragon I idea, and then the whole three heads, and then when you actually see him in the Arctic, and he's facing off Godzilla, you see the big size difference. Yeah. That's the first time we see him fight. And that's really... And it was really cool. That, that the fight between him and Godzilla was good. Oh, yeah. You started... Flipping your your shit when you see Godzilla choke slam one of Ghidorah's head into the ice. Wrestling moves. The whole movie, every Godzilla movie is almost like a big old wrestling match. Godzilla. Yeah, but Ghidorah pieces out right. Uh, 
after like after their first battle, so he starts flying off. And we end up finding out what the terrorist plans were. Go to each spot one by one and ha wake up the monsters and all the known locations because there's 17 of them. Mm -hmm. And have Ghidorah fight them and bring them on theirs on his side so that way they could conquer the world. Uh, um, kill off half the population and then basically restore balance. But the one monster they wake up first is Rodian. He starts, yeah, he was over there in Mexico. He destroys yep. almost half the place. Yeah. Then him and uh, Ghidorah fight. And Ghidorah just totally... Uh, Destroy it, destroyed him. He, tr he trumped him. And then he, uh, he, he throws down Rodin in the ocean. And then uh, Godzilla and him fight. Him and Ghidorah fight in the water. And Ghidorah was losing. Godzilla ends up ripping off one of his heads. But then, it was going to go yeah. so well until the government yeah. actually shot the oxygen destroyer. Yeah, took his head off, but grew another one. Oh yeah, well we'll see. Once the oxygen destroyer hit the water, Godzilla was nowhere to be seen, but Ghidorah just flies out of there, goes into the volcano, and actually his head just fucking just... Let's see, we see his tongue come out of the hole... And then you see the skull, and then the muscles, and all oh, that shit was awesome. That was so awesome. And then you just see him roar, and then you see just Rodian bowing before him. And the worst thing imaginable, like they said, they try to warn him. All the monsters wake up at the same time. So basically the whole entire planet is overrun with the monsters. But everybody is wondering, where's Kong? He's still on his island. Yep. Godzilla's... Uh, injured is uh, is basically almost left for dead, and then we find out uh, Mothra hatches out of her cocoon, and then we end up finding out um, she finds Godzilla and she's calling out to him, and they end up saying that her and Godzilla are a unique species. They're um, the type that actually are in symbiosis. Yeah, basically the ki she's the queen to his king, and we find out that Ghidorah is, in fact, not an Earth-based monster. He's an alien. Or that's what they're saying. He's not. He it looks like an alien because, well, you think about it. The oxygen destroyer killed all the fish, probably a couple of whales, and almost killed Godzilla. Ghidorah didn't even, uh, nothing even no. fa phased him. No. He, his mere presence creates hurricanes and typhoons and all that stuff. It changes the environment. So, yeah, that's not an Earth-based animal. That's space age stuff. So, way to go creating that. Huh? And what was it? Um, we end up finding out that Godzilla actually uses... The, uh, there's an actual um, hollow Earth underneath the ocean. And when they uh, took the submarine to go under there, we found out that, yeah, Godzilla's been around for millions and millions of years and the first civilizations worshipped, worshipped him as a god but they're no longer around anymore they actually told the tale of how him and Mothra and humanity had to come together to at least defeat him and then um, Godzilla is in the center of the earth where there's a large amounts of like natural radiation but it's so slow it's t it took him five years just to heal up after his fight with the Mudos and stuff. And then they had to get all the nuclear weapons in order to try to replenish him, but it was a one-way trip. And then uh, Dr. Sarazawa, Ken Watanabe, Watanabe, Watanabe <laughs> yeah. actually has to self-sacrifice himself by blowing up the bomb near him. Yep. And it's actually a really good scene. Yeah. And then he goes touches Godzilla. And he actually looks and then emotes. They actually made all the animal, the the creatures and stuff, f have their own personality, including Ghidorah with all his multiple heads. Yep. And then Godzilla's all healed up. Actually, oh, yeah, I meets actually the like the one he was all burning up. Well, that's a spo that's an even more spoiler up, Bubby. Oh. So, anyways, the girl Maddie ends up taking the Orca device, which they were u using to try to call uh call Ghidorah. They're in one of the bunkers in Boston. She call, uh, does it to call all the monsters. 
using a gun. Yep. And then um, Godzilla follows it, Mothra follows it, all the other monsters even follow it, but Ghidorah's the first to show up. And then yep. Godzilla's like supercharged, so they're like saying, oh, you got ten, we got ten minutes to get everybody out of here before Godzilla goes thermonuclear. Yeah. And then we end up seeing Godzilla is actually, it's neck and neck, even though he's a bit uh, size-wise the same as Ghidorah. So we get Mothra involved, and Mothra ends up uh, silking Ghidorah's faces onto one of the buildings, and Godzilla does a Roman Reigns spear, Roman Reigns Goldberg spear through the building. And then Godzilla, and, I mean, Mothra comes down, and then Rodian shows up. And Rodian was the one that does all the, the damage to Mothra, and Rodian gets spiked through the, um, the shoulder. All right, you keep talking, Bobby. What do you remember? Um, it's hard to remember much, but... Um, oh. Well, what, what, the, um, the Boston fight, the towards the end, we saw Mothra is all fudged up after um, his fight with Rodan, and Godzilla ends up um, taking a few hits from uh, Ghidorah. We end up seeing that he ends up getting, um, he's on his knees, and then we see Mothra just is on his back. Yeah. Yeah, she does the, um, the self-sacrifice. She yep. ends up taking the full brunt of Ghidorah's, um, gravity beams, and she ends up turning to dust, which falls into Godzilla and gives him the little power-up, and then we see Ghidorah grab Godzilla up in the air and drops him on the ground. Yeah, that's cool. It's like a big old choke slam. No, Ghidorah actually choke slams him again, and then he just grabs him and then throws him on the ground, and he tries um, absorbing Godzilla's energy by biting him. Yep. And then was it the mom had to sa uh, sacrifice herself by using the um, the orca beat the orca thing, the machine to get drive Ghidorah away so that they give Godzilla enough time to charge up. And that's where he ends up doing the the supercharge. Yep. Where he's all glowy and he's on f almost almost on fire. That's where it all ran. Some people say burning Godzilla. Others are gonna say supercharge. That that mode's awesome. Yep. But instead of doing the spiral beam, the super beam that he would usually do, he ends up doing like a thermonuclear pulse, like Doomsday from. Uh, from Dawn of Justice, where he just absorbs all the energy and then just, and the first one destroys, Ghidor burns off Ghidorah's wings so he can't fly. Yep. Then the second pulse melts the other two heads, and it's just the main head. Yep. And then you just see Godzilla just stomp his foot on Ghidorah's chest, crushing his electric, uh, the um, the gravity beam generator in his chest, and then he just. <laughs> just destroys Ghidorah and then you just see Godzilla like with Ghidorah's yeah. regenerating neck like he's trying to eat Ghidorah but he's still alive even though he's just a head he's like yeah, yeah, and then just <laughs> with the atomic breath right, right at the end and then what's uh, uh, the coolest moment ever is all the new monsters all or at least mo yeah, all new only a few of them the holy mammoth looking one the Bug, Rodan, too. Yeah, all the monsters go to Godzilla and oh, they Godzilla. bow before him. Bow for the king of the monsters. Oh yeah, and then we see um the end the the end credits. We see that the monsters are Godzilla's reeling in all the monsters. Everybody's talking about Skull Island. Yep. Like there's some kind of activity or something going on Skull Island. Cause you know monster waste and all that stuff is actually doing good for the environment everything's coming like together like everybody says and then we just see a painting of Kong and Godzilla duking it out yep. and then all the way at the end we see that um, the terrorists got the first severed head of Ghidorah yeah. from what during the Battle of Mexico never know. Huh? so it's either they're gonna Ghidorah's gonna regenerate, but he's slow, so there's not a lot of energy for him. So he'll come back, and Godzilla and Kong have to team up to face him. 
gonna be. Or a possible Mecha King Ghidorah. Mecha King Ghidorah. Or here's another thing that'll be even more cooler. If they're gonna end the Godzilla series and Kong's gonna end up being the one to do the monster verse, Destroya. Since you got the Oxygen Destroyer and you just say, oh, it mutated one of the new, one of the kaijus, the, the, the titans that lived in the water, and it turned him into a giant mo demon monster thing. That shit would be really cool. Yeah. But, let's see. Let's talk about some of the monster designs. Or, um, stuff. Like Godzilla, what do you think of him in this one? I thought he looked pretty cool, especially in the end. It was really cool how they I designed like it. I like God's um, King Ghidorah too. Yeah, but here's the thing: they did the voices. And the, um, Mothra. It's really cool how they did the roars. Yeah. Even though they're new, but they kind of hint. They kind of sound almost like how they were and how they all looked. Their parts, like Godzilla, you can t tell they have the 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 new roar, and then they had the classic mixed in with it and that was really kind of cool yeah his atomic breath actually looks like the beams and stuff like in the old, older Godzilla movies instead of how it was like a flamethrower in the first one but then again it's like God uh, Godzilla never really had to use it so it's like charred up like um, like it's starting with the gas thing and then now it's fully concentrated that he actually needs to Use it in a fight. But then there's Ghidorah. And he actually looks all... He has the... He has the, the appearance of the old Ghidorah. Like, the, he kind of looks like Heisei. The yeah. one with, when they went back in time and stuff. But it looks all modern with western dragons. Like, it's almost like they did a fusion of the Heisei Ghidorah and Smog from Lord of the Rings. Yeah. And it was actually kind of cool that we see it in the movie. It's like each head had its own thing. Like one was kind of a cowardly looking head. The other one was sneering. The main head is the middle one. Well, you said it could be the shield? <laughs> Almost. Rodian was pretty cool. Being a creature that lived in the volcano, his skin was all black and like lava-y. And he had like the f it constantly like flames, especially when Mothra stabbed him. And his injuries, it's like still like smoldering heat. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Martha was the, it was the most redesigned out she of all like of them. She was like fluffy looking, like. Well, she was fluffy, like not super fl like super fluff. Like she looked more bug, like she could actually live in the the world. Like she looks really bug like, but then again, she has that flair of being a goddess. Even though some people are like she's too small, but she actually did actually did stuff. Even though she didn't have no beams or anything like that, but she actually had personality. And then she did, and they actually kept her roar and stuff, like her sounds, like her little shrieks and stuff. Yeah. And then what was it the um, the theme songs? Their theme music, like each of them had their th almost like a, 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 what was it? The most recognizable was Godzilla and uh, Mothra's theme. Like you could tell it was like they did with the beats, but it was all up to date. Yeah, I like the um, Godzilla. Yeah, it goes. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, that was really cool. I like the Mothra one. I thought it was all good too. Yeah. And it's kind of funny, like, because I was hoping since they're, like, near, like, the, the ancient temples and stuff. Oh, <laughs> our thing's about to run out. Alright. Well, that's it for our review.